Shout out to Juan Rocky, this is Brother Yes, this is our friend Brother Millstone, Dallas Camp. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick uh, extra to the uh, prisoners of the Howard video I just did earlier tonight. Uh, basically, what I wanted to do was uh, go into that uh, bondage uh, prisoner word, you know what I'm saying? That we do is that was talking about being prisoners under the elders and being prisoners in this and being in bondage that and basically what they fail to realize is the true understanding of the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Paul considered himself to be a person that would be how shot. You know what I'm saying? And uh, what I meant to do was to go uh, get a, 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 an example of what really made it hit home for me was back in the line of the 28 and 68. You know what I'm saying? Paul said he was an ambassador. A representative of Yahweh shot in bonds, you know what I'm saying, meaning he was a slave to pushing his word, you know what I'm saying, but he was doing it in the hopes of being delivered, you know, so, uh, the reason why the spirit, I guess the spirit led me to do the word in 2868 is because there's no mistake about it, in this scripture we were in bondage, you know what I'm saying, we still in bondage to this day, but, you know, a bondman with the, with the tabernacle being of men, you gonna deal with the word bondman, you know what I'm saying? Being in captivity, you know? And then if you look this word up, you know, uh, a bondman, it gives you this definition, you know what I'm saying? A bondman is a slave, you know what I'm saying? We, we brought him to Egypt with ships, but now we prisoners to the Yahushua. So if you a slave to the Yahushua, I mean you gonna do with your captive, your captive says, you know what I'm saying? If he tell you to push the word, go out on the highways and the byways, if it's cold, if it's hot, no matter what, then that's what you're going to do, you know? And that's what a servant does. A servant does what his master says, you know? These guys, are, they, 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 they willing to admit that Yahweh Shai is our master, that Yahweh is our, they are our masters. Okay, well, our masters told us to serve the men that they set up on earth. It's just that simple, man. It's just that simple. And I want to say this too, man. Stop acting like the apostles be uh, 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 being tyrants and barbarians and or, or whatever you want to call it. Like they just these uncouth men that we just blindly following. No, man. The things and the understanding that we have, that we have learned from the scriptures through the script, spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, we have learned it from those men, man. And that's just the truth, man. Whether you in Great Millstone still to this day, or if you out, or, or you doing your own thing, you know what I'm saying? Even the brothers, even the brothers out there that's teaching the truth that don't have Great Millstone up under their name and are not a part of Great Millstone. If you teaching the doctrine of your how will buy shimmy, how will shine, you good, man. It's just that simple. But don't act like you didn't learn from those men, man. If you learn from them and you had a disagreement or a fallout, cool. You don't have to say you under GMS. You know what I'm saying? If you're not going to give double honors, that's cool. But don't be coming up talking shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Here it is. Here it is. You got all these years of experience toiling in the scriptures, toiling in the scriptures, not taking no breaks, being diligent as they could possibly be through the spirit. You know what I'm saying? And then here you come fresh off a break or here you come uh, uh, out of nowhere want to do your own thing, making shit up, taking that route, you know what I'm saying? You're not a prisoner to you, how shy if you escaped, you know what I'm saying? You talk, you talk about you escaped from the apostles and you escaped from the elders, really dude? They, it, was, it was really that bad, bro? Nah, man, you know what I'm saying? And the ones that stayed, you know what I'm saying? It's a slave, servant, man servant, subjects, you know? Service worshippers of Yahweh, worshippers of Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh sent his son to teach the elect men to teach the rest of the nation on down to the rest of the world, man. And that's just how I was set up, man. Yahweh Shah came in the flesh, you didn't receive it. You know what I'm saying? They didn't receive Yahweh, that's why he drowned everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's why he turned his back on the nation, you know. That's why all those things happen, man. Because Jake wanted to do their own thing, man. Jake didn't want to worship man. You know? Jake didn't want to get in order. You know? It's a servant in a special sense as prophets, Levites, 
You know what I'm saying? Prophets and Levites, that's not like Yahweh Shah rolled all up into one. You know what I'm saying? Because Yahweh Shah pursuing to the transfiguration, when the Heavenly Father said, This is my son and whom I will please, the totality of the prophets and the laws was all rolled up into that one man that came on earth and taught other men. You know what I'm saying? Next time Yahweh Shah come back, he ain't coming back as a man. You know? If we those men that was elected, then we ain't coming back as men, man. Our bodies gonna be changed. You know what I'm saying? But you see, man, Deuteronomy 2068 is clear that we were slaves. It's clear that we are slaves. You know what I'm saying? Now you wanna be a slave to Satan or you wanna be a slave to Yahweh Shah? You know what I'm saying? When you when somebody has the rulership over you, you know what I'm saying, you gotta do what they say. And the elders are only teaching us, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the only thing they're teaching us is the true understanding of these scriptures and how to apply them to your life, man, in this society, man, where we're not able to do what we want to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we slaves to the so-called white man. Yeah, we slaves to the other nations, but that's only, that's only on a carnal level, man. Spiritually, we are subject and slaves under Yahweh Shai. We are prisoners of Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? And that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? I would much be under somebody that's going to teach me how not to go off than to teach than, than somebody to teach me I can do what I want and just watch me get destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, your spiritual your spiritual uh, prisoner, being a spiritual prisoner is going to outweigh being a physical prisoner. You know what I'm saying? Because if your master, if your if your uh, if your if your carnal master, which is Esau, tell you to take the chip, are you gonna take it? You know what I'm saying? Because your spiritual, because your spiritual, your spiritual prisoner, <clears throat> your spir your spiritual uh, prison guard, <laughs> your spiritual prison guard ain't gonna let you ain't gonna let you take the chip. You know what I'm saying? And it's just that simple, man. The the the, the thin line that it is between spiritual and carnal. It's where brothers keep on getting caught up at, man. You know what I'm saying? Nazariah, you so mad at the elders, bro, that you just go break down the scripture wrong and then you won't even take correction? Bro, I'm a Shabbat try to correct you on the uh on the uh, the scripture you was going in about the the, 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 the parents and the and the kids, man. He had to correct you on that, bro. You know what I'm saying? And you didn't want to hear that. So I can, I can suggest that you need to do videos on your own if you want to just go off. You know what I'm saying? Even with the situation with the way y'all got it now. I'm a Shabbat Allah wasn't finna let you just sit there and just butcher that scripture like that, bro. You felt some certain type of way. That shit was all over you, bro. You know what I'm saying? And Mac 10 just sitting there with that dazed and confused look on his face. He don't know what the hell going on. You know what I'm saying? But bro, that's what I'm saying. If you a prisoner up under your how about shiny how shot, you a prisoner up under the men that they set up, man. And that's just that. You know what I'm saying? Now let's go back to Philema, man. Look at all these different brothers that was cool with being in slavery under your how about shiny how shot. You know what I'm saying? Paul. You know what I'm saying? He was a prisoner of your how shot. Timothy was down with Paul. That's order. Philema. You know what I'm saying? A fire. A crippus. Fellow soldiers fellow prisoners. You know what I'm saying? You got all these different brothers, man. Just in this one chapter alone. You know what I'm saying? Onesimus. You know what I'm saying? He's the fruit up under, up, up under Paul, who's a prisoner. You know what I'm saying? Fellow prisoner, man. See that? And now a fellow prisoner. You know what I'm saying? Meaning that first he wasn't. Now he is. You know? Then you got uh, Epaphras, fellow prisoner. You know, Marcus, Aristarchus, Demas, Lucas, fellow laborers. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's it on that, man. You know what I'm saying? All praises to Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders. And all the fellow prisoners in Hamashiach, Yahweh, Shai, man. Shalom.